Here's verse 21 of the 8th chapter of the Gospel of John. The previous verse seems to suggest that that conversation that Jesus was having in the temple treasury area had probably wrapped up. And so we seem to be moving to a different conversation here, although certainly the general tone of the conversation remains the same. And we are uh, justified in believing that this is simply another conversation Jesus had at some later date, maybe the same day, maybe subsequent day or week later, one way or another. He's once again apparently engaged in conversation with these who are the religious leaders who are intractable in their hostility to Christ, unwilling to recognize the evident truth concerning him. And so Jesus ups the uh, pressure just a little bit here in these very forceful words that he says beginning in verse 21, Apen, second aorist from Lego, I say, third person singular, aorist, active indicative, un, the postpositive adverb, indeclinable, therefore he said, palen, adverb means again, uh, therefore he said again, autois, dative, plural, uh, masculine, so he said again to them, and then uh, ego, of course, the presence of that pronoun, first-person pronoun, gives it a certain degree of emphasis. So he says, I, with a certain amount of emphasis on that word, hupago. Hupago uh, generally has to do with going away. I go away is the idea. I leave, I depart. There's a little bit of an emphasis to it. It's more than just erkamai, I go. It's the idea of departing. And so I go away. Kai, the connective, and zetesete. This is from zeteo, to seek, I seek. This is the future in this case, so it's the second person plural, future active indicative. You will seek, uh, the uh, pronoun here, me. So I go away, you will seek me. Kai and the connective in te hamartia. In is the preposition, takes the dative, the dative article here in the, and then hamartia, the dative of hamartia, of course, sin. Humon, possessive pronoun, genitive, plural, second person. So in the sense of you, uh, apothanesta. This is from apothnesco, I die. This is the middle voice. It's uh, the second person plural, future uh, indicative. And uh, so it, it carries with it the idea of you're going to die in and of yourself. You're going to die uh, in your sins. It's a very uh, sad statement, really. It uh, more or less raises the prospect of no hope for those to whom he is speaking. Uh, he says, hupo, adverb, where, ego, hupago, where I go, same course construction as we had up there, where I go, who mace, you, with emphasis, so you, the uh, second person nominative, plural, you, udunista, you are not able, dunamai, I am able. This is the second person plural, uh, present active indicative. You are not able, with the negation in front of it, ail fain, to come. This is the infinitive, of course, of erkamai, I come or I go. Uh, so Jesus is uh, telling them he's going away. They're going to be seeking him. They'll be seeking him, of course, in many different ways. He's probably speaking of the next several years. Jesus is closing in on the moment in which he's going to be crucified. He will rise the third day. He will ascend. There's going to be a bit of uh, activity in Jerusalem, launching all kinds of persecutions against God's people. And uh, all of that may be something of a reflection of what Jesus says here. But he's also saying to them that in spite of the evident uh, proofs that he is who he claims to be, they are never going to embrace it, never going to accept it, go into eternity, dying in their sins. A most uh, uh, really uh, horrifying prospect, really, as he puts it that way. But uh, nevertheless, it undoubtedly was the case for many of these who were witnessing his statements to them here.